Hey my friends, how are you? It's Brother Ray here. I hope that you're doing well. I'm here with my wife Anne from the Bible Diet and we're on with another Sabbath afternoon Bible text message uh, tea discussion. Yeah. And today we have a very interesting topic for you. I Would you like to introduce that topic to yes, us? Yes, the topic is why do we go to church on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Why do we go to church on Saturday? A lot of people are curious to know why do we go to church on Saturday? So today we'll explain to you from the Bible why we go to church on Saturday. You know, today is Saturday. We went to church. We just got back home. You see how we had a beautiful and blessed Sabbath in church. And we decided to make this video today. So we'll give you some scripture from the Bible so you can identify from God's word why we go to church on Saturday. That's right. All right. So I'll let my wife start off with some <laughs> verses and then I'll get into some verses as well. All right. Um... So I want you to share a verse uh, with you. So there is a word passage in uh, Romans chapter 3 um, that talks about um, faith and righteousness. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, so the Sabbath is found in the fourth commandment mm -hmm. and it's the law of God. And, you know, sometimes we hear, oh, but uh, you guys are doing works, works, works. We are not saved by works. We are saved by grace through faith. Mm -hmm. And it is so true. We are saved by grace through faith. And this is a gift of God. And this is so awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but faith without works is dead. That's right. And um, Romans chapter 3, verse 31 say, Do we then make void the law of the law through faith? God forbid. We establish the law. Amen. We keep the commandments mm -hmm. because of our faith, actually. Because we love Jesus. We mm -hmm. love God. And we want to please Him. And because He transforms us little by little, we keep His commandments. Amen. With his Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's very powerful. So we keep the law. But which law are we talking about when you say we keep the law? Mm -hmm. The Ten Commandments is the law. The Ten law. Commandments. Yeah. That's right. And with that, I'm just going to jump to the Ten Commandments and let's see what the Bible says. And we can find that law that my wife is talking about. When we read the Bible, the Bible is such a great book. One verse points you to the other verse and it comes together. Yes. It, it, the Bible does not contradict itself. So if you follow the scriptures, we're going to see how the Bible reveals itself. So my wife talked about us keeping the law. The law we know is the Ten Commandments. So let's see what the Ten Commandments says. The Ten Commandments says in Exodus 20 verse 8. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle nor thy stranger that is in thy gates. Mm -hmm. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested on the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord bless the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So here in the law, we see that God says, remember the Sabbath, remember the seventh day. This is the day that Jesus Christ set apart. We see that Jesus says he took six days to create the heavens and the earth, and he rested on the seventh day. Mm -hmm. He sanctified and blessed the seventh day. So this day is a holy day. It's a special day set aside yeah. for us to come together and commune with Jesus Christ. It's not just a regular day. Yeah. And we get to keep this holiday every week. Mm -hmm. And it's a blessing. It is That's a blessing. right. That's right. And uh, Jesus said, uh, God didn't make, um, no, man was not made for the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. The Sabbath was made for man. That's right. And the Sabbath, you know, you can say, oh, but uh, it's the law, it's the burden. Mm -hmm. No, it's such a great blessing. And maybe I'll talk later a little bit about uh, how I came to know the truth mm -hmm. about the Sabbath because before I didn't know about the Sabbath mm -hmm. uh, if I was Sunday. So, yeah. Yeah. So I like what my wife said. She said the right things, which has given me the right <laughs> avenues I need to go down. So hey, that's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so God said the Sabbath was not made for man, but man, the Sabbath was not made for man, but man for the Sabbath. We just see that in, Gen in Exodus 28. God said after oh, six days. Sorry, the, this is the contrary. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> the Sabbath was made for The man. Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Sorry about that. I'm excited. <laughs> when I get into the, I like, I get excited about sharing the word of God. So you're right, babe. You're right. So yes. But we just read that God said in the Ten Commandments, six days, he should work and labor. Yeah. 
and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath. And then my wife said, repeat the verse, the Sabbath what? Uh, the Sabbath, Sabbath was, made was made for, for man. And not man for the Sabbath, yeah. right? Now, where did that happen? Let's go back to Genesis chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 2 will show you exactly what's going on here. Now, Genesis chapter 2 says, Does the heavens and the earth were finished, and the host of them? And look, and on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all of his work, which he had made. Mm -hmm. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it, he had rested from all his work, which God created. Mm -hmm. So you see how the Bible is literally revealing itself. So God set this day apart from since the beginning of time, since creation. And it has never changed. Mm -hmm. The Sabbath, God is especially that God is set aside. And he wants us to partake of this day. The Sabbath was made by God for man as a gift, right. as a gift to us so that yeah. we can remember him as our creator. That's the key about the Sabbath. When we keep Sabbath, we're actually acknowledging that we accept Jesus Christ as our creator. That's right. And like you say, uh, the Sabbath never changed from the mm -hmm. beginning. And for me, uh, when I uh, started to read the Bible, because, well, mm -hmm. I was... Uh, like uh, I would say a Christian, but I was not really a Christian. <laughs> mm. And uh, when uh, I started to learn about the Sabbath, I, I had so many questions. I thought, okay, maybe the day has been changed. Maybe the calendar has been changed. Maybe this, maybe that. And I needed solid proofs. Mm -hmm. And no, it has never changed. It has never changed. The Sabbath is the Saturday. The seventh mm. day is the Saturday. Sunday mm -hmm. is the first day. And... Um, uh, you know, for me, it has been a great blessing, Amen. the Sabbath day. It's truly a blessing. It's a day when it's a day of rest, a day mm -hmm. to spend with family, to be in nature, to have fellowship with others, to help others mm -hmm. too. I mean, we can help others every day, but the Sabbath day is really a special day that God really blesses. You can really, you, you need to test and see for yourself, yes. to study for yourself. Amen. And um, I'm going to share a few verses. Um, that um, talks about uh, the Sabbath and that people take these verses and say, okay, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't have to keep the Sabbath because this verse says so. For example, there is a verse in Romans 14, 5. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's 14, 5. Yes, that say uh, one man esteem one day above the other and mm -hmm. uh, one man esteem every day the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, But it was talking about the feast, feast days. The feast days feast in days. the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. These feast days actually were pointing to Jesus. Correct. And when he died on the cross, we don't mm -hmm. have to keep this mm -hmm. feast day. We can if we want to, but we don't have to. Mm -hmm. And then the other ve verse is, um, well, I wrote the verse. It's Colossians chapter 2, and it's from uh, uh, verse 16 to 23. Mm -hmm. And it talks about, um, let no man uh, judge you, you in meat, meat or drink. Drinks. Or in new moon and or, or in Sabbath, Sabbath days. days. It's the Sabbath days. It's the, not, yeah, yeah, which is the same as the feast days. Yeah, it was the feast days mm -hmm. in the in the Old Testament. So study for yourself. It was mm -hmm. it was not about the weekly Sabbath. That's right. It's the feast days. And mm -hmm. I know some translations say <clears throat> the Sabbath day with mm -hmm. that S, but uh, look for yourself the translation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and one more thing I'd like to stitch in there since we're talking about the feast days. The mm -hmm. feast days came about because of the Jews and after the, the movement of God. But why I wanted to bring this up is because a lot of people would say that the Sabbath is for the Jews. Mm -hmm. But if you see what I read in Genesis, in Genesis there was no Jew. Adam and Eve were not Jews. Mm -hmm. So the Sabbath is for everyone, not just for the Jews. I just wanted to stitch that in there since that you're talking about the feast days because the Jews today, even in the world, they celebrate the feast days. They still mm -hmm. keep the feast days. That's and right. a lot of people say, well, the Sabbath is for the Jewish nation or for the Jews. But the, in the beginning, when God instilled or, or instituted the Sabbath, mm -hmm. there was no Jew. The Sabbath was for everyone because after that, God told Adam and Eve, be fruitful and multiply after he taught them about the Sabbath. So, which means that the Sabbath is for everybody, not just mm -hmm. for a specific race or ethnicity or, um, you know, yeah. it's for everyone. That's right. And the, the verse says the mm -hmm. Sabbath was made for men. Man, exactly. But the Sabbath was made for Jews. Exactly. So, yeah, it's for everyone, yeah. all mankind. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
That's yeah, right. yeah. And I want to read Isaiah 66, 23, because a lot of people say that, oh, the Sabbath is done away with. Another verse, Isaiah 66, 23 says, and it shall come to pass. This is talking about when you get to heaven. When you get to heaven, we are going to keep a Sabbath. It says, and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, say the Lord. So even in heaven, when we get to heaven, we all going to be keeping Sabbath mm -hmm. from one new moon to another. We will be keeping Sabbath in heaven. Yeah. Praise God. It's a great day. Mm -hmm. getting taste and see for yourself. That's right. And, uh, and you know, it's really a time when uh, we can spend time with Jesus. It's a really special day. And, mm -hmm. uh, I really encourage you to study for yourself. Pray about it because the Holy Spirit is the one who will guide you and mm -hmm. transform your heart and even give you opportunity i know sometimes it can be hard some people learn mm -hmm. the truth but they gotta work on saturday but god is a way maker that's right so with prayer and faith nothing is impossible mm -hmm. and you yeah. said that you would uh give us a piece of your testimony how about <laughs> you give us a quick piece of your testimony to encourage someone who might be wondering well how can i do this how can i start yeah. so okay a quick piece that's <laughs> right okay so uh, yeah i was um so i was raised uh catholic and um then i when i became a teenager i told myself i was an atheist but i would pray in the difficult times but god led me uh, to um to the bible to his words um uh, my husband was um uh, seven day adventist uh, but uh, when i met him you know he never pushed nothing on me but i learned about the sabbath because mm -hmm. i come from france and in france i never heard about the sabbath and um, when I heard about it, I was like, okay, interesting. But I, I really, I am like that. I need solid facts. And um, his mom gave me a Bible one day and uh, I, uh, I left it on the table for many days. But one day I decided to pick it up. As I got to know him and, you know, I say, okay, let me see really what he's believing. You know, maybe I can discuss with him more. And, <laughs> And I pick it up one day, going to work, reading in the subway, and I never let it down. <laughs> I started to read Genesis, uh, and I continued. And then I really learned about all these Bible girls. I talk mm -hmm. about the Sabbath. And then I, I learned about history. Oh, when I learned about history, because I needed solid facts, uh, the history of the church, how the Sabbath was changed. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what most people uh, today keep. The, the Sunday, not we are, we are not judging, and I'm not better. We are not, yes, better. We're not better. Everybody has, has their own journey, and uh, it's not a judging thing. At the contrary, you know, we are here to, to help each other, mm -hmm. I believe. But uh, yeah, when I learned about the Sabbath um, through the Bible and the history, I was uh, really convicted. And uh, as I started to, to keep the Sabbath, it has really been a blessing, a mm -hmm. great blessing. It's really a day. That God take away the cares the, the, the cares of this life. You know, Jesus say, uh, "Come unto me, all ye who are heavy laden uh, and burden and heavy laden, and I, I will give, give you rest. rest." The Sabbath is that truly is that rest. I mm -hmm. think Sabbath comes from the word Sabbatismo. That's right. So it's rest Amen. and peace, and not uh, the Sabbath like the Pharisee used to make it a burden for the mm -hmm. people in the time of Jesus. Like, okay, you can't even light up. What yeah. they used to do, you can't uh, even light a, a fire. They say you can't light a fire. You can't kindle a fire. Yeah, you, you can't, can't pick the. Bees. You can't even pick corn. Yeah. Like when when they questioned Jesus about him and his disciple passing through the field, they made the Sabbath about the do the mm -hmm. the don'ts and the. But you know, it's it's a delight. Jesus yeah. Christ said it's a delight. It's, it's truly a delight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said in the commandment that uh, you should not do any work and uh, mm -hmm. keep it holy. It's my holy day. But it's actually great. It's God tell you, relax. Exactly. Take it easy. Today, relax. you get to spend time with me. And, yeah. uh, and it's, well, it was new to me. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, but, yeah. <laughs> look, look at it this way. You got an extra extra 52 days a year vacation. Some people go to work and they say, I want two weeks or three weeks vacation. But if you look at it, if you keep the Sabbath, you got an extra 52 yeah. days a year vacation. And you're spending those days with your Creator, which is God Almighty. Isn't that's that a blessing? Right. Yeah, that's that right. is a blessing. It is a blessing. It's yes. A blessing. So yeah, there are so many more verses. Yeah. Which, there's so many, and you know, there is not one 
word or one verse that says that the Sabbath was changed or that the Sabbath mm -hmm. is Sunday. Actually, it, is the, it says the Sunday is the first day of the week so many mm -hmm. times. Jesus kept the Sabbath as is custom wise. If the disciples kept the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, it has only been changed since the time of Constantine. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, as 34 years said, there is yes. not one verse. There's only eight verses in the Bible that talks about Sunday. But there's no the reference to yeah. Sunday being the Sabbath. It was mm -hmm. just eight verses that reference the first, not even Sunday, the first day of the week. But it's no, it does not point mm -hmm. to Sabbath or to a day of worship. Yeah. So exactly. we urgently encourage you to study the scriptures to show yourself mm -hmm. approved unto God. Not to anyone. That's what the Bible says. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Because mm -hmm. when you study God's word and you search the scriptures daily, as the Bible says, and you ask for the Holy Spirit, God will reveal his word to you. And he will reveal every truth to you yeah. because it's the Holy Spirit that leads us into all truth. That's right. Yeah, all that's right? right. Amen. Yes. Yeah. So we hope that uh, that video encourages you to study more and learn about the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we keep the Sabbath. And uh, we hope that by God's grace, you'll continue to press on and seek the truth. Seek the truth straight from the Bible because mm -hmm. God wants you to know the truth mm -hmm. because he loves you. And he sets you free. That's it. Amen. He sets you free. And who is free is truly free indeed. Mm -hmm. So until the next video, we hope that um, God will richly bless you. Please remember to share this video with your family and friends. You don't know who may be uh, looking for these uh, answers as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope that you hit the, the bell notification so that when we post the next video, hit the like button so our ratings go up so more people can see it. And always remember to put comments. We love to see comments. We love mm -hmm. to interact with people, yeah. to discuss. And subscribe to the channel so you'll yeah. see when we post more videos. We'll be doing much more videos like this, answering questions, family-related family related questions, bottle questions, questions about couples, questions about marriage. So we have a lot of good things coming. So mm -hmm. just keep an eye on the, keep looking out. And we pray that God bless you. Have any that's final right. words? No, that's it. And remember that it's a judgment-free zone. That's right. So any exactly. comments or thoughts, uh, you're welcome. Just be respectful, but you can ask any question. That's you know, right. We are not perfect. God is still mm -hmm. working on us. Mm -hmm. That's a lifetime process, which is sanctification. That's but, right. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, that's one of the studies. Amen. That's another study. But <laughs> well, we'll do that too. So we yeah. have all those studies coming. Yeah. All right, brothers and sisters? All and right. remember that God is always good. Until the next time, this is Brother Ray and my wife Anne from the Bible Diet. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.